I was told I must only put hair grease on my scalp and not my hair. Um, no. Hey, hey. Welcome back to my channel, it's Miss Lauren Lee 11 and today I'm gonna to jump straight into it. I need to get some things off my chest and I need to tell you what they are right now. Say it with your chest. So I'm gonna be telling you my 10 things I do not do as a hair natural. So number one, co-washing. I used to co-wash my hair, I used to love co-washing my hair, but I just don't see the point in it. It did not clean my hair. So I'd put on an eco styler gel on my hair as a styler, then I'd go and co-wash it. It doesn't get it off, guys. You need something like a clarifying shampoo. This brings me on to number two, and this is pre-pooing. The name alone just irritates me, I don't know why. <laughs> pre-pooing is something I didn't even try, I just didn't, I didn't see any point. I have two children, that are young, vibrant, full of energy, and wash day for me has to be as quick as possible. I do deep condition my hair, which takes time, so I do not have the time to do an extra step before even washing my hair, which is pre-pooing. I'm just not, I'm just not for it, guys. All right, say like it's your day seven of wash day, okay, and you've done a wash and go, you've got gel in your hair, you've got lots of product build up, your hair's a hot mess, there isn't even any curl definition anymore. And then you have to put like oils on your hair and just let that sit for a bit. I just want to get my hair washed. Doesn't work for me. Yes, I haven't tried it, but I just know it's not going to work for me. So this brings me on to number three. I never ever stopped using products with mineral oil in. Reason being, my hair loves mineral oil. I don't see the reason why I should stop using something if it works for my hair. So then this will now bring me on to number four. I was told I must only put hair grease on my scalp and not my hair because it damages my hair. Okay, um, no doesn't damage my hair it doesn't damage my children's hair in fact it makes their hair grow it's an amazing sealant when I put it on my scalp as I was told I must do it clogs up my hair follicles at my roots therefore making my scalp itchy and I get dandruff on my scalp for no reason defeating the whole purpose right because my scalp's meant to breathe I'm clogging it if I then put hair grease on it that's what I think anyway so I don't follow that rule it tames my hair and um, I love hair grease. At the beginning of my journey, I did do a hair grease video. And click now if you want to see that. Um, I think it got mixed reviews. Some people said, yay to me, keep on using hair grease. Some people, I suppose, didn't like the fact that I'm a user of hair grease. Okay guys, so this brings me on to number five. I have gel at the front of my hair. And yes guys, it's Eco Styler gel. For me, Eco Styler never got cancelled. I didn't jump on the bandwagon. I never cancelled Eco Styler. Eco Styler works for my hair. If I look at it in this way, guys, a lot of stuff we use out there, soaps and toothpaste and daily things we use have the potential to give us cancer if that's if that's really what it is, you know? Didn't stop using Eco Styler because it works for me. I like the definition I get from it and it's not my health over a hairstyle. As you can see, I don't use it every single day. I use it once a week if I'm doing a wash and go. Is that enough to harm me? <laughs> Number six. Number six is finger detangling. I hate it. Reason being is, it rips out my hair. I hate the feeling of wet hair in between my fingers. Finger detangling, I feel like I'm stretching the strands until eventually they snap. So what I like to do is, I'll separate my hair if there is a tangle, and then I'll comb it out. It's fine with me. Okay. So number seven, doing a cold water rinse because you've got to seal your hair once you've washed it, deep conditioned it to keep in the moisture, but then you've got to go back when you're styling your hair and put in a leave-in conditioner. And if your hair's already sealed, the cuticles are sealed from the cold water, how is the leave-in conditioner meant to penetrate the strands? It makes no sense to me. So number eight, having my hair colored or cut professionally. I've had a couple of bad experiences with the hair salon. I mean, I could go into a salon today if I really wanted to, but my thing is, I am frugal. If I know how to do it myself, I don't see any point in letting someone else do it. I have literally cut my hair into a pixie bob, into a tapered cut, I've done it. All right, so number nine. I don't moisturize my hair daily. When I put water alone on my hair, it dries my hair out. I usually use aloe vera juice. But again, I don't want to put that on my hair every single day. I feel that the more stuff I apply to my hair whilst my hair is like this, especially oil, my scalp 
itches like crazy. The only way my hair is moisturized is when my hair is done like this, it's initially wet. So I'll do my hair from a wet state being washed and then I'll braid it like this whilst wet and it will stay like this for the rest of the week. Right, so number 10 guys, I use a hairdryer guys. Yes, I use a cool setting, but I may use a hairdryer more than I need to. I don't always diffuse, I sometimes just directly on my hair, but I do use a hairdryer and I'm not gonna stop. I mean, all these things that I've mentioned haven't hindered my hair in any way or stunted its growth. So if you did like this video, you can go ahead and give me a thumbs up. I do three weekly videos, so Mondays, Thursdays, and Saturdays. So don't forget to hit the notification bell so you don't miss another video, guys. And also you can follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram at Miss Lauren Lee 11 And thank you for watching, guys. I'll see you in the next one.